There is a question is the attitude of Islam to history. And in fact, what we find, the basic attitude is that all history is in fact an Islamic history. That means that all the major figures of history basically are Muslims. From Adam down to our own time. So if the Jews or the Christians are demanding something and basing it on uh, the fact that uh, there was a king called Solomon or a king called David or, or um, a prophet called Moses or, or Jesus, then of course what they are doing, they are saying something which is not true or in fact they don't know that all these figures were basically Muslim figures. They were in fact, since the creation of the world, there is only one religion, and this is the religion of Islam. So if anybody says, look, there is a place which is connected with, uh, with Solomon, and, and that's the place where the Temple of Solomon stood, a true Muslim would tell you, yes, absolutely, absolutely right, but don't forget that, Mo that Solomon was a Muslim. And David was a Muslim, and Abraham was a Muslim, and Isaac was a Muslim, and Jesus was a Muslim. This is what I mean by the Islamization of history. And you can understand that through Islamization of history, you've got Islamization of geography. Anywhere which was connected with these people, or with these prophets, which were all Muslims, becomes a Muslim territory. And therefore, uh, when Islam was not in that area before Muhammad came to it, but it, sh it should have been there, in that area, I mean in the Middle East or other, other parts outside the Middle East, which are now Muslim parts. Any place like this um, had to be, um, to be freed, not to be conquered, had to be liberated. So Islam appeared in history in the time of Muhammad, or reappeared in history from their point of view, reappeared in history as a liberator. And therefore, there is no, no Islamic occupation. If somebody occupied anything, it would be always somebody else, not the Muslims. So, there is no Islamic occupation, there is only Islamic liberation.